So today we are going to be conducting a very important experiment. Oh my bad, let me not be rude. Yo, what's going on guys, man? And welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 2. We are back on this game today because there's a theory going around. And that theory is if you buy a bundle in the store, then you are gifted with a low skill lobby or what we like to call a bot lobby in your next game that you play. Oh, DD, oh, what it is? Oh. This came from Twitter because an Activision pattern, huh? I don't know, just a bunch of legal stuff got leaked and apparently within that it showed that if you bought bundles in a store it would put you in low skilled lobbies because they want those low skilled or new junior players to see you using these cool bundles, cool operators, whatever it is which will hopefully entice them to buy the bundle. That's the theory. So I'm testing that today. I'm going to be buying a bundle. Why not this one? The Icky Icarus. <laughs> what the hell? That's a pretty cool name for it. I'm not gonna lie. Since I'm conducting this experiment and I'm wasting my COD points, all I ask for you to do is to drop a like on the video, please. And also, by the way, if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Is that fair? I got you, homie. What I'm going to do from here is equip this to my favorite loadout. We're going to equip this to my... Oh, wait. These are both primary weapons. I can't do that. So now I've got the Icky Icarus. I've also got the sticker that it comes with that you can barely see. I'm not even going to modify the class whatsoever. And now what we're going to do is search for a shoot house. I'm going to continue talking so that you guys know this is a regular lobby. I'm not doing anything. And we are going to test whether this weapon right here, me using this, actually gets me into a bot lobby or a low skill lobby. I'm very interested. I'm just going to fast forward until we actually get into a lobby because this is uh, it's taken a while for some reason. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're in a lobby. I'm actually really excited to see how this is. Okay, let's see. Let me pick my Icky Icarus. Let's look at the lobby first of all. There's a variety of different levels, although levels don't really tell the whole story, to be honest. I've run into high levels that are not the best. But let's see if this actually makes my lobby easy. Oh, he was jumping a little bit too much right there. This Icky Icarus ain't hitting. I probably should have picked a better bundle with a better weapon. Oh. Oh my goodness. See. Hello there. Oh. I remember this was a thing during Warzone. The first Warzone. And basically people or streamers would test out buying bundles to see if it would get them better lobbies. And in some instances it actually worked. Now obviously it could be a placebo because naturally you're going to get a bot lobby eventually depending on how much you play. So it could most definitely be a placebo. However, this theory has been around for a while. However, I just never tested it. So... Hostile Wilson, great. Oh, it's difficult for me to tell whether this is an easy lobby or not because of the weapon I'm using. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> However, my teammates are streaking up quite a lot. I don't know if I've ever used this scope in my life, but... To get this reload off. That's the problem with using an LMG, by the way. Oh! Oh, wait, we got an Overwatch helo? I am just camping. We call this Overwatch helo in. Oh my goodness. Oh. No! <laughs> These guys were after me. Oh, <laughs> I thought that dive to the next window was smart. Clearly not. Stupid. We lost the game. We joined late though. We didn't do too bad either with what we were using. However, I'm not sure if it actually made the lobby easier though. So what I'm going to try for this one is I'm going to use a totally different class with a weapon that I actually want to use and compare the two lobbies. I keep joining lobbies late, which is really annoying. Now, if this lobby is more sweaty than the first one, then maybe that says something. Let's see how this one is in comparison to the last one. YT? Yeah. Already this is looking kind of crazy. Smoke grenades. It feels like I'm playing Warzone 2. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is a fun test though. It's interesting. You can automatically tell who knows what they're doing and who doesn't. When you see people running around quick scoping with the sniper like that, you kind of know. Look, like that. Exactly like that. You know, this guy knows what he's doing. Look at this. This is the perfect build. He knows what he's doing. I didn't have that in the last lobby that I was playing in. Ah! It's also important to know that in each lobby, whether it's Warzone or multiplayer, there's always a mixture of bots 
and great players, regardless of what skill bracket you're in. You know, they might be great players in this lobby right now, but there's also bad players too. And that changes things as well, because it depends how you play in that certain game. You might have a game where you run into more of the bots. So that means you had a better game and you think it's a bot lobby, whereas you just didn't run into many of the sweats. You got lucky or you played it really well. We won though, but that was definitely, I mean, I joined late again. That was definitely a more sweaty lobby. Cheater. 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 I don't know who was calling a cheater. I cannot claim that one. Let's try a shipment 24 seven and see how this is. One thing I've learned whilst doing this is it's just very, very difficult to tell. Lobbies vary all the time, you know? If you're in a high school bracket, if you play for long enough, you're going to get into a bot lobby eventually. It might be the first game that you play. And that's also another theory. People say that your first game of the day will be your best game because they want you to keep playing. If your first game was throwing you into a crazy difficult lobby, then you might not want to play for the rest of the day. That's another theory that goes around too. I'll try that one too, if you want. Just to show you the lobby right now and the levels, it looks like I've got the way lower levels. I'm I'm gonna try and sweat this one out and see what I can do against these guys. In the highest skill lobbies, there's constant tacticals being thrown, there's constant snipers, people pre-aiming, having a good idea of where you're coming from. You have less freedom in lobbies like this, you know? Hostile Overwatch healer, we're already being streaked on. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. Whoa, oh, that's the same guy. He's the one that's streaking up. They, oh, and they all spawned on me. How did I just die? What just happened? I want to see how I just died. The advanced UAV. See, we're streaking up now, boys. See, even though I'm getting streaks, it's still very difficult. No! But that's my point again that you can really streak up in any type of lobby if you just play it a certain type of way. And I think that's the difference between certain skill levels. You can really adapt your play style depending on who you're playing against. And I cannot stress that enough, but hopefully that proves to you guys that yes, there might be things that, you know, manipulate and can have an effect on what type of lobbies that you get into. But regardless of what lobbies you get into, there's ways to play against certain types of players that can still result in you achieving success in the game. Like in my opinion right now, I just got the longest streak in this whole video in the sweatiest lobby that I've played in which is so weird nice so I just did a little bit more research and people are saying the patent that got leaked is apparently for Skylanders, which is made by Activision 2. But I guess what people are also saying is since it's used for Skylanders, why would they not use that for Call of Duty 2? This icky Icarus actually looks mad cool though. <laughs> but in all reality, I will never use it again after this video. So once again, please drop a like. <laughs> Wait, who killed? Did he stick my teammate and my teammate ran into me? Oh my! I knew the Semtex went past me, but I was like, how is it still following me? Let's see if this works for one thing. Surely it has to be good for something. Okay, that's why I would use the Icky Icarus. By the way, for those of you guys that watched this video all the way through, a little bit of a sneak peek. I'm going to be recording the final part to the Hero Gear grind on Black Ops 3 sometime soon, so expect that on the channel. But also, I'm pretty sure my next grind is going to be Dark Matter on Black Ops 4. We're going to go back to console because there's still plays over there on PC. It's completely ruined. A bunch of hackers and barely anyone playing. You're not able to find lobbies. And also, there's no auto aim or aim assist, whatever you want to call it. So it looks like we're going to have to go back to console, but I'm sure i'd get used to it after a little bit so yeah that's something to look forward to i'm actually really excited to do that but yeah i've come to the conclusion that yeah it's very possible that buying a bundle does get you into an easier lobby however i'm not sure if it's as drastic as people think and there's also other variables that will always contribute to your lobby so it's difficult to tell whether it's strictly the bundle that's doing it whether it's the last game that you played whether it's your first game of the day whether it's Chill. who knows but it's just interesting at the end of the day especially when that actually is patent for 
for it and we don't know what game it's for whenever you guys next buy a bundle in the game try it out for yourselves and let me know how that goes for you thanks for watching man this was pretty fun to do and i'll see you guys in the next video